What the fuck? Said Edward. <laughs> Look at the dog, goddammit, you asshole. Look at the fucking dog. What's the matter? Asked Percy. <laughs> What up, guys? Joe here with another reaction video. We're back with George Carlin dubbing Thomas. This is the second to the last one that has been uploaded so far. So I'm going to try and space these out. But I had to watch another one of these based on the last one. You know, these, these have just all been super funny. So, you know, what? we're going to watch more because George Carlin is a legend and Thomas is legendary. When you put those two together, you get something amazing. So um, if you have been enjoying my reaction so far, make sure to like, subscribe, turn the notification bell for each and every upload. So you don't miss anything. We're going to waste no more time. I'm going to get right into this. Let's do it. Later, Gordon was taking on water from a standpipe because the water tower was under repair. I wouldn't drink too much of that water if I were you, Gordon. It might give you boiler ache. I'm glad the water sucks, huffed Gordon. You know what I do about it? I drink it. I fucking drink it. <laughs> you see, I'm not one of those people who worries about everything. Don't say I didn't warn you, laugh duck. <laughs> Look at the doggy. Well, then I would love to see Gordon's response to the virus right now. <laughs> He'd probably be like, fuck it. Look, look at the dog over there. Look, over there. Turn your head. Look, look at the dog. God damn it, you <laughs> asshole. Look at the fucking dog. What's the matter? Asked Percy. <laughs> well, for one thing, you completely missed the dog, replied Thomas. <laughs> Remember Thomas, called Gordon grandly. United we stand, together we fall. As far as I'm concerned, replied Thomas, united we're fucked. <laughs> they had a lovely picnic supper of fish and chips. Mmm, that was good, said Sir Topham Hat. But you want to know some real gourmet food? Toasted snail penises. <laughs> Holy fucking shit. Oh, good lord. A crate of treacle was upset all over Percy. Not only does shit happen, said Percy, it also falls on your head. <laughs> Harold the helicopter touched down so gently fitting. in the snow, bringing the greatest surprise of all, Santa Claus. No one's getting laid at the North Pole, he grumbled. It's too cold. Your dick would shrivel up like a stack of dimes. Well, Santa's on topic. Jem Cole came on Saturday. The Reverend is coming to see you, Trevor. Maybe he'll buy you. How much is that son of a bitch? Sixty <laughs> bucks? Give me that mother. Duncan wouldn't... How much is that son of a bitch? <laughs> Pry. Fuck this shit, rumbled Duncan. We'll keep our passengers waiting, said his driver. Duncan was cross. I really don't care. <laughs> My thoughts are on pussy. Hello, <laughs> Most of that was true for Duncan, but I don't know about the last part. <laughs> hello, hello, said a policeman ominously. And what's going on here? Leave me alone, officer. I'm legally drunk. <laughs> One of your crank pins broke, Edward, said his driver. Holy shit came right off, didn't it? God damn. You'll have to get a new one of them, said Edward. Shit, that broke easy, didn't it? <laughs> you got stuck in the snow. I took your passengers and Terrence the tractor pulled you out. I can't tell you how happy you would make me, said Thomas, to someday drive up to a flaming auto wreck and see you. Well, well, well. Damn. <laughs> well, chuckled Henry. Did you like the water? No. You know what I like? Big chunks of steel, concrete, and fiery wood falling out of the sky and people running around trying to get out of the way. Exciting shit. <laughs> Duck called me a galloping sausage, spluttered Gordon. Well, Duck? Duck considered. Just basing my judgment on his most recent activity, which, as you'll recall, was licking his balls. You're guilty, period, fuck you, end of report. <laughs> Boys, I have a great idea for Christmas. Let's kill a beautiful tree that's been alive for 75 years and bring it here. We'll stand it up and conceal its natural beauty by hanging shiny, repulsive, man-made objects on it and let it stand there slowly dying for several weeks while simple-minded children stare at it. <laughs> so don't let that buzzbox diesel tell you different. His name is Boko, and he didn't. We... I don't have time for fine distinctions. I'm busy screaming at people. <laughs> at last, Thomas arrived. Sorry, can't talk. Diarrhea. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. 
Later, Diesel bumped the car so hard that the loads went everywhere. What will Sir Topham Hatt say? gasped Percy. Maybe, just maybe, scowled Diesel. He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> Which I admire in a person. We want our money back. I get tired listening to this shit, said Gordon. How about you, huh? Fuck these people. Who do they think they are with their goddamn three-piece suits and their fancy eyeglasses? <laughs> Again, that sounds like something Gordon would say on a bad day. Keep out. Stop fooling, said Duck. I'm tired. You should have moved up, twat face. Hissed the engines. Don't you know space is at a premium? He screamed straight through the station and disappeared. Whoa, holy shit, look at that maniac go, said Edward. <laughs> but sir, they don't like me. They like Diesel. Not now. I never believed Diesel, so I sent him packing. May he burn a long time in the worst parts of the deepest pits of the hottest precincts of hell, <laughs> said Duck. Yeah. yeah, that's probably pretty much how Duck feels about Diesel. Nobody wants to be arrested for shitting with his pants on. Am I right? The Topham Hat said to his wife. Besides, shitting with your pants on is only a misdemeanor. How are you, Henry? Beep, beep, beep. I feel fine. Fine, said Sir Topham Hat. Bullshit. Nobody's fine. <laughs> hair is fine. How's your hair? Fine. That makes more sense to me. <laughs> Ask a train there. Have you ever been sitting in the station? and another train is parked right next to you, and one of them begins moving, but you can't tell which one, and then it becomes obvious, and all the magic is gone. Wouldn't it be nice if we could spend our whole lives not knowing which train is moving? Actually, we do. <laughs> what the? <laughs> what the fuck? Said Edward. <laughs> the station what has a little shop Edward? selling <laughs> Wait, I gotta rewind that, I gotta rewind that. <laughs> what the fuck? Said Edward. <laughs> The station has a little shop selling refreshments. The conductor, fireman, and the guard buy tea and cakes oh, from the refreshment stuff's league. Stuff's just good. I think I'm gonna go to the refreshment stand, buy myself a weenie, and hide it in my pants. Then I'm gonna whip out the weenie and force it to watch while I eat the bun and stuff the weenie up my... Nah. <laughs> you probably want them uptight chicks who think I'm weird. She doesn't know the problem is I'm shy. I'd like to take advantage of this early opportunity to wish all of you an enjoyable Christmas season and a happy new year filled with good fortune. Of course, I realize this can't happen for everyone. Some of you are going to die next year, and others will be crippled and maimed in accidents, perhaps even completely paralyzed. Still others will be stricken with diseases that can't be cured or will be horribly scarred in fires. Therefore, many of you so will dark. not get to enjoy the happy and fortunate new year I'm wishing for you at this moment. So, just try to do the best you can. Alright. <laughs> Another good one as always, guys. Make sure you like and subscribe. Turn the notification bell for each and every episode so you don't miss anything. Always suggest more stuff for me to react to and I'll do my best to do it, as always. Um, Yes, yeah, so stay safe out there. Have a good day or night, wherever you may be. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. Bye, everybody.